Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This reading is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Please remember to take what resonates and leave the rest. Let's see what's going on for my Libras. Sun, Moon, and Rising. Ooh, ouch. Heartbreak. Emperor. Wow. Okay. Wow. I've got... Somebody here is very bored with the situation. They're looking like um, they don't even really want to see this. It is a blessing, but it's like they don't want to see it. I got Seven of Swords. And, okay. So where you're at right now is the Three of Swords. Heartbreak, pain, anguish. What's crossing you is an emperor. Aries energy. Jupiter just went into Aries, so this might have been a huge shift for you, Libra, considering the last full moon was in your sign. And now it's going into Scorpio. So, and Jupiter just went into Aries. So things got changed up on you pretty quickly. The Three of Wands in the distant past, waiting for that right moment. Waiting for that aha moment. Most recent past, we didn't get it. It was like birds pecking at us. We couldn't couldn't put ourselves together because we were too confused. In the immediate future, we have the hermit. It's hermit time. So it's time to go within to seek your answers. Factors affecting the situation is the nine of wands. Hurt but not down. It isn't the 10, it's the nine. You're hanging on to that last wand of integrity with everything you got. Outside influence, five of swords. Some pretty, pretty strong words here. This is a fight, some kind of argument. We'll clarify in a minute. Hopes and fears, there's an attachment here. I don't know what it is, but it's something that it might be manipulating you. Could be um, an addiction or just an obsession. Okay. Then we have balance coming in the end of this reading, which is very good for you, just uh, Libra, because you're the justice. You like things balanced. You are coming into balance. Spirit says send that message. If it's not you sending it, it's going to be you receiving it. Possibly from this emperor. Could be a Virgo, Capricorn, Sagittarius, or an Aries so far. Let's see what this emperor is about. You don't need to concentrate on past energy. Just the here and now and the future. There you are. Justice card. Page of Pentacles. Somebody needs to bring something back from the dead and make an offer here. And I think they're going to. But don't do it recklessly. If this is you, Libra, don't be so quick to jump here. Because this is going to take time to balance out. I think you're trying to rush this. And you need to slow down a little bit. That's why you're probably in pain. Because the offer, although it is an offer, is very, very small. Could be a Scorpio, Capricorn, ten, uh, Sagittarius, and Virgo. Let's see what else we got here. What's this hermit card about, Spirit? What is this hermit card about? It's about going within. Just cutting yourself off from the world and not... Wow. Two of Wands. So it's about a choice that you need to make.
Wow. Wow, Libra. Five, five, five. Definitely some huge transformation going on here with you. Five of Swords, Four of Pentacles, Five of Cups, Nine of Swords, and the Page of Wands. Somebody's really stressed out uh, and, and worrying about money of, all, of most things. And like I said, that small pentacle is also a small token of love. This person, you may have put in a lot of work, spent a lot of money on this person, taken a lot of time out for this person. And they sent you into a dark night of the soul, which is having to reevaluate your entire life because of this person. This person is very immature. They could even be a child. This person is very immature and... I hate to say it, but you got hustled. Alright? And I do feel like that's the case here. And maybe you're sitting there wondering where the hell your money went. And you got hustled. There may be an apology coming, but it's, it's not a very... How do I want to say that? There's a mental health issue here with whoever you're dealing with. It's definitely a mental health issue. They're, they have a depression disorder. They have an anxiety disorder. They have an argumentative disorder, kind of like bipolar, and a lack mentality. So yeah, there's, there's definitely some, something going on there that maybe needs to see a doctor. Yeah, you cut this person off. Nine of Cups. Your wish was to heal from this and cut them off and move on to calmer waters. And either you or the other person is doing some heavy, heavy spying here. Uh, scared to death to approach you for sure. Could be a Queen of Swords, but the Queen of Swords is the type of energy that takes no prisoners. She's like cold, cut off. She will cut a bitch because she's she's detached. I mean, it's it's like she's fair, she's just, she does what's right for people, but she's detached. And I do feel like either you or someone else is going to be traveling to the other one because there is a page of swords here with the six of swords and that tells me that somebody's been watching you or you've been watching someone else. And I think you're about to tell them the truth or they're about to tell you the truth. Although, nine of cups energy, that, that means that that's what you want. You want them to tell you the truth. Let's see what this ten of or five of swords is about. My bad, it ain't over yet. It's only halfway there. You wanted this person to be fair to you. Wow, double cards everywhere. Page of wands. You want this person to be fair to you. This is a karmic cycle. There is no end until you end it with this devil and this Aries or masculine energy, father, baby daddy, whatever it is, or boss. It could be a boss. <coughs> oh, goodness. Got my throat caught up there. Any of those energies could be involved here. Definitely some Capricorn energy. We've got Pisces, Capricorn, and Aries right here. And then we got fairness, a completion, a cycle completion, something ending, something new beginning. You can't see the way forward. Very difficult through the dark. There is an attachment here to this person. 
an obsessive attachment to this person. And that's why somebody can't see the way forward because they're too busy worrying about somebody else's life and not concentrating on their own. Page of Wands, which you believe you're gonna hear from this person very shortly. What is that devil about, Spirit? What is that devil about? Could be a Leo. Somebody walked away here. The hope and the fear area. The strength. Aww. The strength to break your own heart because you know there's three people here. You know there's another person here. You could be the one stressing out, depressed, and anxious because of this fight that's taking place now. Um, so yeah, I feel like I feel like maybe there were three people here. You waited on someone and you found out they had another someone. So now you're trying to bring balance to that. You're trying to bring balance to all that. That that's pretty pretty intense. This is your hope or your fear, hun. Walking away. Eight of Cups in data ass. Temperance. What is that all about, spirit? What is that all about? Brand new beginning. Yeah, I think you're you're really done with this person. I think they pretended that they pretended you were the only one. You weren't. They could have a lot of money, be very well off, but at, at one time this person was your wish fulfillment. They could even have a little white dog. But I feel like either you got ghosted or you ghosted this person because you know they had a third party and they were probably footing the bill for them. I don't know what that means, but they were definitely juggling both of you. Like I said, I'm sorry, but it gave you a chance to a new start. So take that and, and run with it. Go be great because you've got another chance here that go be great don't worry about what these other two people are doing go be great eight of wands ah they came out so i'm gonna take them eight of cups again sagittarius again being very confused Seeing through the illusion, having a brand new beginning as the Empress. Spirit wants you to see this for what it is. I got the Eight of Wands on the Eight of Wands. So this message could be coming from a long ways away and you could be getting it right now. However, See through the illusion, Libra. You are already an empress. You need nobody to tell you what is up. You've got that going on for yourself right now. And this person may be proposing to you. I'm just saying. They are mentally unstable. So keep that in mind before you say yes. And make sure you know this person very well. Alright? Because they're, they're coming. But how they're coming is a whole other story. I believe they've been hurt and left out in the cold by the other person as well. And, oh wow. Uh, 
God, I just had a song in my head. I'll have to think of it. It's was the, was I the last place that you could go, and that's sticking out in my head. It might be hemorrhage by fuel, but I'm not sure. It's like, am I the last place that you have to go? Yeah. She cries as loud as loud. Some will be black and white. Yeah. Till I just think in the lies. Over and over and over again she cries. Yeah. Hemorrhage by fuel. I'll link it in the description box below. Definitely a divorce happened in here. I, I can't get around that. Lovers, family room, main female, mature female, and despair. Somebody is definitely depressed. Depressed here. Big time. And there's going to be one of these people left behind. So, take it out. Resonates. I don't know who the mature female or the main female are in this story. But somebody's going to be left behind. What is... We'll get some love, love oracles, twin flame oracles, and see what comes out. But this does very much look like a twin flame uh, relationship due to the fact that you guys can't let go of each other and it stresses you both out even though they may be going towards someone else maybe they don't have any choice they i don't see a family situation here but i do see a possible pregnancy so there's that we got take a chance risk being st strategic options not showing hand okay so somebody's not showing their hand here but i think libra i think enough's enough you know this person is stalking you they're watching you they're watching you have all these options after you broke up and you're giving them the silent treatment and because of that, they cannot stop thinking about you. They cannot. They got in over their head on this one. And you cut that shit off. I'm just going to say it like that. Because the relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. I love you, but I can't be with you anymore. You got to go get some help. Because even, even if the other person walked away from them, you can't help them, Libra. They have to climb out of the shadow by themselves. You can't do it for them. You can't do this, this for them. Please understand that. This is like a child. And also, it could represent a little mental health issue. Look at the little flower all broken up and one little cup immaturity for sure so wow those are your messages please remember to smash that like button and subscribe and i will see you guys next week till then stay safe bye bye